In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to switch from this into this within a few steps. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So as per the video title, you're going to update the Grub theme, the Grub menu theme in the Linux Mint environment. So we're uh, using Linux Mint. So that's why I said Linux Mint. You can use that in any of the like Debian based operating system. It could be Linux Mint. It could be Ubuntu desktop. It could be even on Arch Linux. I have tried on two different flavors. One of them was Manjaro and the other one was CatchUS and it worked perfectly fine. So for this video, I'm just going to test it on the Linux Mint. So first of all, we're going to log in into our machine. All right, so first of all, you have to make sure your device has internet connectivity because we are going to download some themes for this one. Well, actually, it's going to be just one thing and you have like multiple options to choose from. So in your Linux machine, just go to the browser and type elegant grub to themes. And it should show you the first GitHub link for Win Silvis. So someone, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that name right or not. Just click on that one. Or otherwise, I will just put the link into the description of this video. You can just copy and paste. And then click on the code. And then download zip. And once it's downloaded, go to the folder and open with archive manager and then click on extract and extract. Okay, extraction completed successfully. Now show the files. Okay, and then you have to copy this folder and just save it somewhere where you can access it. I'm gonna just paste it into the documents. And here I can see I have all the files and these are the previews if you want to preview how it's going to look like. So this is for the preview of light version, dark version, and you can choose left, right, any, any side. Okay, so go to the terminal and first of all, make sure you update. So update. And then we are in the documents folder. So we will just run the install file. All right, it's updated. And then I'm going to go into CD documents. Just go to that folder and check all the files. We have install.sh file here. So we are going to run this one. So Okay, so now we have these options. You can try one by one. So for test one, I'm going to try mounting and I'm going to click on OK. And here we have the style. It's going to be window, floor, sharp and blur. I like blur. You can try like multiple. It's gonna look, it's gonna be like multiple reboots, but still, you will be able to see all of those and just select whatever you like. Since we have a lot of options, so we have left or right, and choose from anyone. I will just go with the left one, and it's asking for dark and light. I like dark, and then it's asking for choose your group team logo variant. I'm just gonna choose the system, and. Then, then on the next screen, depending on your monitor size, you can choose any of those. For me, 1080 is fine. So I'm going to set that one. And once it's done, then just in case, type this command update grub. If the grub is not updated, so you don't want to reboot it again. Okay, so we have confirmed that theme is applied and grub is updated. and then. We are going to do a reboot 
and let me show you how it looks like after reboot. I'm not pausing the video recording so you guys can see I didn't make any other changes on that one. And by the way, thank you so much for the support. Also, if you're first time on this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and like this video. All right, so here you can see the theme has been applied and see how beautiful this looks. And it's showing 1080. Now you can see I'm, I'm using the virtual machine and i have to like scroll down to see all so that means if you have like 1080 monitor it's gonna like look a beautiful view on your computer and you can choose from multiple operating system you can see windows boot manager with the logo and then linux mint if you have more operating system it's gonna look more prettier and then it's gonna show you some functions like you can choose these uh, press these keys to see like c for command line e for the settings and then i'm gonna show you the folder itself as well so if you want to change the background image you can do that as well so let's go into the operating system okay and then once you are in operating system go to files and then click on file system and here you're going to find uh, USR which I call it user I don't know what exactly is USR and then click on open as root and then you're going to need to type the password again and then once you are in the elevated privileges you can just simply double click on any of the folders so usr share and then here we have a lot of folders so just type grub and you will be like highlighted to that folder just double click on grub and then under themes you should be able to see this theme and here you can see the background if you want to change the background you will have to design that exactly so it should be 1080 and half of the side should be it's like more than half side should be blurred or like however you want because this side is going to be for the operating system and test and stuff and then there were like more stuff info if you remember on the side it was showing c for command line settings and all that stuff you can change this as well and there are like more stuff as well so you can even change the font size here is the theme.txt if you understand coding more you can change it accordingly because I have done that on my laptop and it looks so beautiful with my personalized background and I have changed the font sizes as well. So as it's uh, like hovering on any of the operating system, you can see a different text size on that one. So it's like pretty simple, straightforward, not a rocket science. You just need to download it and offer that like your computer grub menu looks like so beautiful. It's like so professional rather than seeing the black background and a few text on the screen all right guys thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video